this is Robert from Artec Canada. Today's video is going to be a quick walkthrough on setting up the Ring Wi-Fi doorbell and video intercom. Uh, Ring allows the homeowner to answer the doorbell from anywhere in the world as long as they have an internet connection from an iOS or an Android device. So first of all we'll notice that the packaging includes everything needed to do the installation as far as a screwdriver bit, a screwdriver handle, even a level to make sure it's mounted level on the wall and a drill bit to drill into the wall. The only thing you need to provide is the uh, drill itself and some time and energy. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, we've gone ahead and charged the built-in battery using the supplied USB cable. Ring can run from a, uh, from a battery, but of course uh, it would be better off if you can run it from your existing doorbell power supply. That way it never needs to be recharged. Again, for this demo we've already charged it up, so we'll go ahead and see what's involved. This is the first time that we've set up Ring, so it'll be interesting to see what a new user will, will run across. First thing we need to do is to download the Ring app. We've already done that. Make sure you download the correct app, the one that says ring.com from Ring, Ring Labs. And since it's already been installed, I can go ahead and open it here. First time we use it, we're going to need to do a setup. And then we will need to either log in or create an account. We don't have an account set up, so we'll do create an account. Put in our name. I'll just do this off screen. Okay, once we've created our account, the next screen takes us here and it says choose a device. So we're setting up Ring Video Doorbell. We'll go ahead and click on that. Let's give it a name. We'll call it Artec Demo. Oops. Continue. Confirm your location. Close enough. Continue. Press the button on the back of the device. Okay, nice and clear. So go ahead and press that button. We got the little spinning icon here. Wait until we automatically connect your device's Wi Fi network. Put that down while it's working. There we go, it says connected to the Ring Wi-Fi. So far so good. Okay, now we need to choose which network we'd like to connect to in our location. So we'll choose our in-house demo network. Again, I'll just do that password offline. Okay, and then we can press continue. We'll let Wearing connect to our Wi-Fi network now. Okay, it says the uh, connection and the setup is successful. Right now though, it's updating Ring's internal firmware and it says to wait until the white LEDs stop flashing. Okay, that didn't take very long at all, so let's go ahead then and uh, say done. We will skip mount your device for now. Okay, so uh, in addition to contacting you on your smart device, Ring does offer uh, video recording in the cloud so that you know who's come to your door when you're away. We'll just skip this. There we go. And 
Let's see what happens now that this is set up if we push the ring button. Well, actually, I see those white LEDs flashing again. It might still be working. Okay, well, there you have it. Nice and simple. Let's do accept. And this might not work all that well. No, we're good. Let me go offline for a second here. so close together we're going to get feedback just like a microphone or speaker. Let's cut that off. Okay, that's it. We ended the call. And we can see now we've actually seen recent activity showing up as well. Well, that's it for now. Well, uh, it looks like the setup is actually very simple. We'll do some further testing to see how reliably it works and we'll go on from there.